Jason Pyle with VOD TV. We're uh, closing out the Parks Associates Connections Conference here at CTIA, and we're with Harry Wong of uh, Parks Associates. Uh, Harry, you've moderated a couple panels here, but one we want to focus on right now is the health and wellness. Um, you had a number of uh, speakers uh, at that panel. What was kind of one of the takeaways from it? Uh, this is a great panel. We have uh, six speakers coming from various in industry backgrounds. We have Jody from AARP. We have two a uh, large company represented on, on the panel, uh, Gita from AT&T, and also um, a lady from uh, the, uh, Rafaela from the uh, Wellness and Prevention, which is a subsidiary of Johnson Johnson. So these are the big players in the, in the room, but we also have uh, inno inno innovators, companies that uh, uh, bring new devices and solutions to the marketplace. We have Independa mm -hmm. that focuses on the in aging place marketplace. We have um, larger mark that a, a device maker of the, uh, the PERS uh, solutions, uh, personal emergency response solutions. And last we have uh, Ideal Life, which is manufacturer and now a software platform provider for uh, uh, telehealth and healthy living solutions to the home as well. And uh, Ideal Life actually has a partnership with the uh, ADT, one of the largest uh, security company in the industry to bring the telehealth solution to the the digital home space. So that's a very interesting announcement they made in CES. So overall, this panel has uh, a different uh, industry participants uh, serving different roles, and a very dynamic, very fun-filled uh, panel for for the for the session. And the key takeaway for this one is definitely uh, the industry is definitely evolving from a episodic care to a uh, preventive care, coordinated care, and requires technology as a solution to help consumers self-care themselves, uh, self-care, and managing different type of needs in the home. Uh, we're looking at the space more as a healthy living space because if you're looking at uh, people's uh, conditions, if you're looking at chronic conditions, uh, they have to m monitor their vital signs in terms of blood pressure, uh, for instance, glucose levels, weight, something like that. But m in order to manage all those vital signs, make sure that in the in the right healthy range, you have looking at the, the overall healthy lifestyles they have mm -hmm. to pursue. You have to manage the diet diet and nutrition side of that. You have to do exercise. You have to reduce stress level, and of course you have to monitor the uh, progress in terms of maintaining the the healthy lifestyle. So that kind of a thing that requires technology industry to help in terms of solutions, application, new devices, new way to get devices connected and the data being processed at the back end, providing meaningful knowledge for consumers to understand the progress and uh, uh, the efforts they put into those activities. So this is how industry we see technology uh, merge with the healthcare needs and the consumer self-care needs along with the professional care coming together. That's a big trend we see here and the people on this panel talk very from er various aspects how their solution helping the consumers manage their care and helping the caregivers better support consumers the care needs in the home. So. Yeah, one of the things that I found interesting, we talked to a couple of speakers, uh, Rafaela, behavior specialist, and then mm -hmm. Gita, of course, a physician. Yeah. yeah, so backgrounds you normally don't see. Uh, it seems like there's new opportunities for a lot of people. I mean, you have the service provider, you have um, you know, a Johnson & Johnson company with wellness and uh, prevention. But it, it seems like, are there new business models opening up as well? Because, uh, because you are necessarily you know, saving money, making the healthcare system more efficient? Right. Of course, there's a, a lot of new business model being uh, being experimented, uh, being uh, launched by the uh, disruptors or innovators in the marketplace. And traditionally, it's more like you know consumer looking at a, a service that either covered by the insurance plans or offered through employees, uh, employers. You know, for instance, the corporate wellness program is one thing that uh, employers want consumers to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. They give consumers pedometers. They help them to join online wellness program and uh, make sure that they, they check their cal uh, calories in terms of how many steps they walked. You know, make sure they they eat the, the uh, get the right amount of nutrition and diet plan that uh, make sure they reduce uh, do the weight loss program things like that and uh, but also you have seen self uh, help tools coming up some of the tools are uh, free as an app you know there's a uh, 
around 4,000 different type of health and wellness app available wow. on iPhones or uh, Android devices. Consumer actually can download the app and uh, try different way which one best fit for them in terms of managing the weight, you know, uh, get nutrition and uh, uh, keep uh, on top of the, the, the lifestyle they want to pursue. There's a lot of tools out there catering to different needs. At the same time, you see healthcare institutions like Kaiser Permanente, Cleveland Clinic, they try to create their own tools. You know, so there are tools from the uh, innovators. There are tools from established healthcare institutions helping consumers to manage their conditions. Of course, the tools can be aggregated in one way or another, uh, organized as a service. You know, the typical example is wellness prevention. The Rafa Ali from from Johnson Johnson, they're providing a digital coaching tools through online, basically, including education, including self-assessment, including um, the monitoring of the progress, uh, and expert uh, coaching, email, or uh, kind of a chat sessions. Make sure that uh, consumer, when they need help, they can find a professional somewhere in the digital form, of course. Uh, even they can provide, you know, telephone consultation as well. But whenever the consumer needs help, they can find the help to provide advice, providing the best course of action for them to take. Those are some of the new business models we've seen in the marketplace. Well, one of the things that uh, struck me was the whole idea of, of uh, moving beyond the aging in place type application. But having said that, the aging in place application, uh, Independa launched, I think, at your connections, was it two years ago? Um, did they give any insight as to their progress uh, since that launch and how, uh, how it's been going for them? Uh, that's an interesting question. The aging place uh, is a very broad category, right? You know, if you're looking at seniors, especially people uh, in the early boomer stage, you know, the, the baby boomers that in the, in the early 50s and late 50s, and then the true senior population, 65 and beyond, uh, they definitely have the needs to uh, want to age gracefully in their own home, to pursue the independence. And, uh, organization like ARP definitely is trying to promote that kind of uh, environment for them and the solution provider like Independa, uh, even Ideal Life and Larger Mark, they're trying to provide solution for them. Uh, there's a huge interest in terms of uh, leveraging the PERS platform, the personal emergency response, uh, not as a service, single service, but as a, as a platform to offer a variety of uh, services that are uh, helping seniors are living better, you know, tracking behaviors, tracking the uh, medication reminders. And uh, we see that from a larger market perspective and, and from an independent perspective, they initially, uh, two years ago, they have this uh, Angela platform, basically it's our tablet solutions. Mm -hmm. um, they have a very nice software uh, user interface. Uh, and uh, the key two areas of their focus at that point is definitely looking at uh, uh, medication reminders. That's one thing that uh, very pertinent to the seniors needs and also uh, bring the the good memories back to the seniors, mm -hmm. so that you know the, the you know the, the recorded messages or you know the pictures like that. I think it's very pertinent to the needs. And the, he, uh, Keon from Independent mentioned that it's not about the aging part of it. It's about relishing the uh, the good years and uh, looking forward to the golden years of their life, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that kind of a mindset to make the aging place uh, solutions more appealing to this population. Uh, that, that's very important because adoption of the solutions, you cannot just uh, emphasize the uh, sickness part of that. You have mm -hmm. to emphasize the, the more appealing, the, the legacy part of that, mm -hmm. and uh, treasure the, the good days uh, and uh, looking forward to the new uh, experience they're going to have in, in their, uh, during their uh, latter half of the life. So solution like that, you know, but uh, independent definitely pivoting from two years ago. Okay. Right, you know, they are migrating from just a hardware solution, but they're trying to provide a software platform that integrating other players. You have seen independent working with uh, actually ID Life. So ID Life can be is a, as a partner for independent as well, you know, so independent can integrate ID Life solutions and ID Life can incorporate independent solution into their platforms. So there's a collaboration between uh, different solution providers and uh, with that they can add in function, for instance, telehealth monitoring. Uh, you know, even medication uh, monitoring as mm -hmm. well, and, and instead of just uh, reminders. So you see it's kind of a mashup between different solutions, aging place. The goal is definitely to provide seniors with a easier uh, user interface and uh, with the services or solution, the design, and the best of all to 
don't get them into the technical setup process. All the uh, functions and features are somehow automated and uh, with minimum uh, human interaction with that. And that's the goal for the aging place solution offered by a company like Independa and uh, other solution providers on the panel. Well, it seems like that would be a common theme of it is, is improving the quality of life or improving quality of medical care or whatever it is. It was yeah. making things more efficient and better. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the, the industry realized that uh, we're not talking about single disease conditions. We're not talking about single age-related conditions, eye timers, for instance, you know, like that. But it's more like how can we drive consumers' uh, understanding of uh, taking care of themselves as a whole, uh, help them living better, healthier, happier. And that will be the motivation for people looking at technology and adopting that. Along the way, it will solve a lot of problems. If you keep consumer motivated to uh, reduce their weight, you know, that can solve a lot of problems in terms of chronic conditions, right? If you motivate consumers to taking care of themselves, understanding uh, how they live, how they sleep, how they handle stress in the way, that in one way, long term, consequently, you will see reduce of the uh, spending on different type of professional care. So that's the kind of a wholesale change or the mega trends. And uh, some of the speaker on the panel mentioned about the care model uh, changes, especially uh, accountable care, uh, affordable oh, care, okay, affordable yeah. care act. You know, Jody, you know, from AARP mentioned, hey, affordable care is in place. Don't try to turn history back. There's no turning back anymore. Mm -hmm. And it was the new care model coming to to the American, uh, more addressing uh, the emphasizing the accountable aspect of that. Mm -hmm. The care professional will become more accountable to the overall well-being of the patient instead of just uh, what's happening in the hospital, in the doctor's offices. So there's a great change in, term, in, in the way in terms of having consumers uh, managed by a care professional, not only in office, in hospital, but also, also in the home. There will be a coach helping consumers along the way. Uh, helping them not only on condition-specific uh, needs, but also on the overall well-being of the consumers. And w we, we're actually projecting that cause that's going to be a big driver for adoption of the uh, either telecare or telehealth solutions vendors. We published a report recently on, uh, on, the, on the accountable care organization's impact, the, the new care model on the telehealth and home health monitoring market, and definitely we'll see that as physicians, hospitals, and even nursing homes began to become part of the accountable care organization, uh, there's a need to adopt technologies, using technology to manage patients in their homes. And that will be the big driver for the technology industry, especially uh, the tools helping consumers manage their care. And uh, that will be a huge industry uh, incentive and, uh, and a driver for the, for the uh, technology industry uh, going forward. Well, Harry, appreciate your insight and your time as always, and look forward to our, our next meeting. Great. Thank you.